Hi guys, Leo here. Well, um, today I'm gonna give you a tutorial for my version of the song Mood. Okay, uh, a lot of people requested for this video, for this tutorial, so I hope it helps. Um, as I usually do, I kind of improvise a lot. So I'm gonna be listening to the song and then I'm gonna be explaining and playing in um, a slower speed, okay? It starts with the intro. Well, for that part, I actually used my... I had a Les Paul, not exactly this one that I used, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna explain in the same way. My bridge pickup had a re was already at full volume and for the intro I used my neck pickup with just a little bit of volume, you know? Something like this. You see, so when I change the pickup I just have to hit my switch here and then um, the gain, the drive is there, okay? So I come from this. You see, I just hit the switch. Okay, very cool. So in this first part, um, I'm gonna play slower so you can see better what I'm doing. It's a tricky part to play, okay? Um, I have another video uh, teaching how to play the intro of this song, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it in the dis in the description, okay? Anyways, um, I am hitting all the strings, but I only let sound the strings five, three, and two. I'm muting the string number six and string number one and string number four. It's a little tricky. I'm gonna leave the video in the description, okay, for the intro. Uh, okay. Yeah, from now on, I am on. I am. I am on the bridge pickup, and uh, I'm basically playing over a G minor scale. Okay, uh, the first chord is E flat, but the scale that I'm using is a G minor all the way, all the way. Okay. <laughs> Legatos, you know? Now, I'm just using the left hand. You see? basically for the scale of G minor and also the pentatonic of G minor so a lot of the phrases well I'm just playing the melodies of the song but still you know the pentatonic notes are very important here the singers they used mainly the pentatonic notes okay so it's very important to to have in mind the pentatonic of G minor, okay? This is not a lesson, a theory lesson, so I'm just stick to the phrases and to the song. If you want to learn more about the minor pentatonic, you can leave a comment here and I can make another video about the, the minor pentatonic, so about the minor pentatonics, okay? Okay, now I go higher. Um, I just change my pickup. Okay, at this point, I I already brought back my volume knob from the from the neck pickup. I did in the beginning of the song when I switched the pickups. You know, when I had a spare time. Again. Uh, Pentatonic, minor pentatonic of G. 
Pretty easy stuff, right? <laughs> About the vibrato I kind of switch sometimes uh, I remember in the first time I did the normal vibrato and then in the second time it was the these vibrato uh, this one you know so I am changing to have sometimes these more aggressive vibrato uh, I'm trying to build up the aggressive uh, part, okay? There it goes. Okay, and now we start the verse. This first phrase. I am using the open string, okay? I'm using the fret number three and then palmating with the open string. And then that phrase again with the legatos. Um, let me see. Yeah. slow this phrase again it's kind of tricky to play okay just left hand my right hand does nothing I just play the first note and the last one oh Bend. I'm bending with the vibrato on the top. This is very, very cool to do. Um. Okay, so try uh, do, doing the bend. Uh, just do the bend. Listen to the note. And then try to get the vibrato in there, keeping the note, you know, as much as you can. I mean, try if you can have the vibrato going in the same frequency, it's gonna sound better, you know, instead of something crazy like you know that you are changing the frequency. Okay, I do these, uh, I play these phrase three times because it's the melody, right? repeat the video as many times as you want uh, blue note let me play faster because oh. the cheeky picking okay so I start with my second finger here you can see all the time like the pick and the finger the pick and the finger right
very cool. Again, I'm not playing with the right hand, just legatos to get a more uh, sweet sound, more uh, smooth sound. Then I do the trinado. fret um, number 18 right now second string okay I hope you can see well there right and now that's a very cool phrase okay uh, the first two I am using kind of the pentatonic but not only the pentatonic let me show you the first phrase the notes that, I, that I'm playing are these one frets 18 17 15 18 and 15 in the second string these phrases are five note phrases okay okay the second one uh, the third one it's actually an arpeggio these uh, this shape of arpeggios you, you know you can do like a minor seven it's very cool very cool arpeggio oh G major seven I don't know uh, G seven actually G major seven it's very cool I love these arpeggio so the, the whole phrase there is a tricky part here about the picking okay i am doing up down up up down so i'm kind of using the economy picking here up down up up down up down up 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 again it's like a um sweep picking okay but just very short sweep picking we usually call it economy picking Again, the same thing, up, down, up, up, down, and now I change. Now it's really sweet peaking. So I start, instead of playing an upstroke, I start with the downstroke. And then down, up, down, sorry. Down, up, 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 down. Down, down, up, 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 down. Very cool, right? And then we go back to the chorus. Okay, the same thing again, I go one octave higher. Oh, very cool, I love this, this, this kind of phrase. I play the upstrokes. sound I'm actually not just playing the upstroke you know I am like uh, pulling out the string you know I am getting my pick inside and then I pull out I don't just do the upstroke you know I am pulling out outwards something like you see there is a different sound here like more punchy more compressed as well Okay, now it's the second verse. Very cool. Uh, this is again based on the melody, okay? So... It's something like that. Okay, when I play faster, I can remember better. Uh, so... It's a very um, a 
expressive phrase, I would say. Cool. I am again just a G minor. The I'm starting with in the fret number six, and then eight seven five. Not much to say here. Maybe the, the interesting thing here is that I am using these three notes which are from the pentatonic of course. I'm playing in the same string instead of playing just in one string. I'm playing uh, instead of playing in two strings, I'm playing in just one. Frets three, five, seven, just three, five, seven, and I repeat that all the time, right? Oh, and the second phrase is a little different. Oh, sorry. Okay. I repeat these first parts. So. repeat twice. In the first time I play just once and I repeat twice in the third string. In the second time I play twice in the second string and once in the in the third string, okay? Just to get uh, some contrast here. Oh, this is very cool. Okay, so in this part I'm gonna show you that phrase, okay? I didn't pick much because uh, if I don't pick I can get more clarity from this phrase, okay? So just minor pentatonic man there's nothing here nothing nothing and then the phrase um same phrase again something like that let me let me listen okay now it's the second phrase it's a little deep uh, it's a little bit different the same pentatonic shape um, I am in kind of uh, I would say in an unconventional position maybe in unconventional shape usually people people would play here which is this pentatonic shape I am actually playing in the shape behind BB King used to play so much in these shapes, so maybe I got I got that from him. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, just pentatonic notes, right? Always pay attention at the articulation when I'm playing. Slow, uh, well, I'm playing in a slower speed, but I'm trying to keep the exactly same articulation. Okay, so. Uh, if you take a look, I am using hand-rounds and pull-offs all the time, 
all the time. You know, all the time I'm doing pull-offs and hand rolls, and I think it brings uh, more life to the sound of the guitar, okay? So it's very, very important to keep that in mind. Don't pick everything. Because it sounds... It sounds, how can I say, maybe... I don't know, too hard, maybe. Okay, let me try to play with the song this phrase just to remember. Okay, I think I got it. So we go back to the verse number two again. scale here G minor and then I get this pattern just going back the scale let me listen one more time Very cool. So that's the first phrase. And now I go with the pattern. Okay. Here I am playing in the region of the fret 16, 15, 13. Okay. And now frets 15, 14, and 12. And then I go to the frets 14, 12, and 10. And then 12, 10, and 8. And then I would probably need to listen one more time. But I think 10, 8, and 7. Yeah. Yeah. It's something like that for sure. So, again, yeah. 10, 8, and 7 twice. And now I play the fret number eight. And I finish with a chord, a power chord. I'm gonna play slower. Let me show you my right hand. I think. My right hand is usually the most important, actually, to get the articulation going. So... It's not that. Something, yeah. Okay, just F made, it's F power chord actually. Okay, and then we go back to the chorus. Yeah, perfect. And then I already go to the, to the high, the high octave to do the, the chorus. Very cool. Well, this is a very hard phrase actually to explain because it was improvised. So, well, I'm gonna do my best to tell you at least what I thought. Let me try to play with phrase. Something like that. So. Well, here I'm looking again at the G minor pentatonic, but now 
uh, three notes per string. Okay, so I'm looking at, I'm gonna play repeating notes just to show you the shape, but I don't play in that way. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna show you how exactly I play, but just to, to, to see the pentatonic, three notes, okay? So frets 10, 13, and 15, and then 10, 12, and 15, I am repeating notes, I don't play that way, okay? Soon we get there. Again, 10, 12, and 15. It sounds very good, right? Very cool. The next one, just um, 11, 13, and 15, and then 10, 13, and 15. Okay? Very cool. So um, the first, the first thing I do, um, I play that note to start um, the last solo. So it's something like this. I still go I go back Very cool Okay So I am usually skipping strings so I won't repeat some notes that I don't want to repeat, okay? Here, nothing, just the pentatonic. Now, I am skipping the second string. Improvising around these uh, notes, you know. Ah, I think I, I skipped the string number four when I go up. Yeah, I did. I do. So I am. Um, Note. So basically, I am playing the G minor pentatonic again, even though it's not only, I think, yeah, sometimes I play uh, notes that are not in the pentatonic, but still I'm thinking, I'm looking for the pentatonic, and I finish in the F note, because it's the F, chord, the F chord, the last one, okay? Uh, very cool. Next part, arpeggio. Arpeggio of E flat, E flat major. And then G minor 9. I am playing the arpeggio. Okay, let me show you here. I love that arpeggio. Oh, just the scale. 
and I finish again in the F note because we are playing now the F chord. Okay, just the scale. Starts from the fret 15, 17, 15, 13, and then it goes on, right? 16, 15, 13, 15, 14, 12, and I finish in the 15. The same phrase again. Okay. Uh, this is a very cool lick. Um, as always the notes I'm playing fret 15 and then 18 string number 2 15 and then uh, 17 string number 3 and then I go back to the 15 number 2 and bend This is a very cool lick, you can get a very good speed, so it sounds very interesting. I repeat a lot of times this lick. It's like... Uh, oh. Yeah, here again I am improvising quite a lot. Back the G minor, and I finish in the G chord. In this case, it's a power chord. Okay, so. for you to get from this tutorial it's not exactly the same phrases because even if if I would go and play this song again I would not play in the same way you know just keep the improvisation in mind you know I want you to understand the notes that, that I am playing but don't try to play exactly the same notes in the same sequence it doesn't really make much sense in this uh, concept you know because I am improvising a lot so just try to understand, try to see the shapes of the scales that you can use because all the phrases are in the shapes, you know, that, that, that is no secret here, right? So, well, if you still have any questions about the song, about the phrases, I think now I played the, all the phrases a little slower so you can even go deeper in the speed goes low, even slower using the YouTube uh, so yeah have fun have a gr uh, great time thank you very much <laughs>